Global supply shortages and inflation rates have hiked up car prices, leading many consumers to turn to used cars as the more affordable option. But buying that used car could cost thousands in unforeseen repairs without taking the proper precautions. Local mom Beatrice Dickens tells none on your side her daughter was approved for her first vehicle loan and was excited to purchase her own car. She's pregnant, so I stress the importance of making sure she finds something safe. Dickens says even with the pre-approval from the bank, her daughter was given just three options out of the whole car lot to make her selection. On April 16th, she paid a total of $10,000. Two and a half weeks later, vehicle will not start. No oil is in the vehicle. She called me, said it wouldn't start. I told her don't drive the vehicle. I called my mechanic, had my mechanic go look at the vehicle at her apartment complex, and he told us that the motor was gone. It was nothing she could have did to the motor and that the motor had to already been damaged. They went back to the dealer, this time taking their mechanic with them. They specifically asked the mechanic, was there anything she could have done to um, lock the motor or for the motor to explode? They said no. They told me that they were willing to pay half the repair costs. After $9,000 cash, over $9,000, I told them that's not that wasn't an option. Another local resident and senior citizen who wishes to remain anonymous has a similar story. She bought a used Toyota for $7,000 as is. The very next day, the check engine light came on and they were told by Greenville Toyota the engine was shot and they would need $6,000 to replace it. When she called the dealer back, they said there was nothing they could do. Her family is now out thousands of their hard-earned money with no working car to show for it. It's something the BBB says happens all too often since buy remorse laws don't apply with as is purchases. In North Carolina, you can sell a car as is if it's used. So um, used car dealers don't always have to provide you with a warranty. So if you purchase the car from them and let's say three days later it breaks down, um, they're not necessarily entitled to give you a refund on that vehicle. If you are purchasing from one of these dealers, one of the things we'd recommend is you take the car in for a pre-purchase inspection. Nick Hill with the BBB says never purchase a car without seeing it in person and always take it for a test drive. He says the two biggest scams they see are odometer fraud and the resale of flood damaged cars leading to over a billion dollars in annual losses for consumers. It's important that you can compare the mileage on the odometer with the mileage that's indicated on the vehicle's maintenance records. Flood damaged cars, you can get them typically a lot cheaper than uh, your typical used car. However, sometimes scammers will take these flood damaged cars and disguise them to make it look like it's just any old used car. After Katrina in 2005, North Carolina saw an influx of flood damaged cars coming to the state and it happens every hurricane season. In North Carolina, a car's title must be updated to show flood damage, but not all states are as strict on those laws. That's why pre-purchase inspections are so vital. Take it to a shop that you trust and if any dealer won't let you take a car to get looked at by your mechanic, then you don't need to buy a car from them. Ask the dealer expressly, was this a flood damaged vehicle? And when you get an independent inspection, which you should, ask them to look under the floor mats, look in the air vents, see if there's mud or other residue that is a telltale sign of a flood damaged car. So what consequences, if any, do these dealers face for these types of misrepresentations or sales? And are these cases that your office is actively looking into? We've got something like 800 in the last year and a half. When we see car dealers making misrepresentations, saying one thing, that the car isn't flood damaged when it is, or any other kind of lie about that car to make the sale, if we get a complaints about them, we can take them to court. And we've won two cases, more than a quarter million dollars between the two of them. And we're investigating a national used car sailor uh, dealership right as I speak. If you think you may have fallen victim to a used car scam, you can file a consumer complaint with the attorney general's office and they'll help you investigate those claims. Make sure you have all the right paperwork, the title of the car, the North Carolina state inspection record, all the repair records and read that contract carefully. Since the incident, Dickens and her daughter filed with small claims court. That court date happened May 26. Then the dealer was ordered by the judge to pay for the repairs in total. Now the dealer does have a chance to appeal that, but Dickens says it's a step in the right direction. She says it's upsetting that many of these dealers seem to not care about what they're selling and to whom.
I don't understand how right here during a pandemic when when inflation is going on um, people are working two and three jobs trying to make ends meet that they just get to take nine and ten thousand dollars from you the BBB also recommends checking their website for dealers' reputations and if they're accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Reporting, Emily Severidge, 9 on your side.